Hi and welcome back. I've uh, it's a wheel day today. I've got my I ordered a set of Bola B1 18 inch wheels for my Z4 coupe uh, in matte bronze, and um, they turned up yesterday. Uh, and I'm now making my way over to the tyre place, uh, local to me, who I trust implicitly, they're, they're masters at their game, to um, swap the tyres off my MV2s and switch them over to the new, the new wheels. There's a slight concern over the tyre sizes, because what I'm doing is I'm swapping like for like, so existing MV2s, are, uh, are from standard OEM setup is staggered, so uh, it's a, a, an eight and a half inch wheel on the back, and an eight inch wheel on the front. Usually you run 225, 40, 18s on the front and 255, 35, 18s on the rear. Uh, so the rears should just be a straight swap. The fronts are a half an inch wider. So the fronts on these new wheels, because it's a square setup, so I've got eight and a half inches in each corner. Uh, so it's a, it's a half an inch bigger front wheel. So the 225 tires I've got on there, and, and I want to swap the tires because they're only a couple of hundred miles old. The yeah, Goodyear Eagle F1s, very good tires that I, just, I want to make use of them and keep the MV2s as, as winter wheels. So I'm going to swap the tires over. Hopefully it won't look too stretched. I don't want it to look totally JDM or um, overstretched, but I want it to look as flush as possible. That's the hope, that's the hope. If it doesn't work, I might have to look at getting some two, three fives for the front. But the danger there is you start running into um, clearance issues uh, and I really don't want it to rub on the inside of the wheel arch. So it's a bit of a gamble, but it's not gonna, you know, relatively cost effective to change the tires over on these new wheels and, and see what it looks like and live with it for a bit. So that's where I'm heading now. Get it done, get it looked at. Uh, the offsets are brilliant on these. So I had the, the Bowler B1 wheels, you can choose your offset. So I don't need spacers. So effectively I've been able to manage to fill the arch. So the rears I've got as an offset of, they were on, on the MV2s, they're 50. I've got the offset at 33 there. So that brings it out, I think about 17 mil, which is perfect. Um, and the fronts I think come out about 13 mil. Uh, their, their offset is 40 instead of 47. So. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the what the feel of it is, how flush it looks, because it, it, it's got the space to come out. Um, the other thing I want to make sure with the tyres, uh, and not making them too high profile, is I might want to lower this a little bit in the future. So I need to just sort of future-proof my options with these wheels and, and make sure that I've got the ability to drop it down by like 30 mil or something with a set of eye back springs. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on. The wheels are next to me in the car. And uh, we're heading there now, so we'll see how it goes. in to uh, Blackheath tyres. I should not have worried at all. Um, the 225s that are on the front, uh, yeah, they stretch to fit the eight and a half inch wheels I've now got on the front, but it, it's got a little bit of rim protection still, which I wasn't expecting. It doesn't look stupid. It looks uh, nice and flush because the offsets that I got for the wheels were pretty much spot on. I could not be happier. I think it looks great. I love the color. Um, it really works well against the Monaco Blue. If you've got a dark car, or especially a dark blue car, look at matte bronze. They are a really good complementary color for for the car. It's not it's not going to be liked by the purists at all. I'm, I'm sure that people are going to hate these wheels and say, "Well, you should have kept your MV2s on." Good news is I'm keeping my MV2s. They're not going anywhere, so they'll be boxed up and put in my garage. Um, and I'm not getting. They're not going anywhere. They're a good set of wheels. Eight and a half inch square setup. Don't worry about two T5s on the front. There's plenty of clearance, um, and it doesn't stretch too much. So here's to <laughs> enjoying the car even more. It's it's fantastic. I, I couldn't be happier. Um, hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, 
give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to follow, follow. I seem to be doing more of these videos than I thought I was going to do, which is quite good. It's quite a nice way to document things. So um, if it's useful and helpful, then that's fantastic. Um, I'm enjoying doing it anyway. So uh, anyway, thanks a lot. Cheers. Well, it'll stop like this. Little, 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 little,